it doesn't even give that priority to say at least the sham or graduate you are parent to a so focus on yourself like i think you. i think you have to focus on yourself because maybe tando i couldn't to pull a lamar focus on me yes along yeah for life orientation on to my grade seven because clearly your your name even shows that you're not even worth of anything like hey loves and welcome back to yet another tiktok train segment with me yellow gazi kaki before it to a go manzi pansy the floor is Better than before, currently trending on South African TikTok is Siyan Buji Utando as well as Tando's ex-best friend Upapalo Noko. I hope I am pronouncing Papalo's name correctly. So Papalo basically chose to mess with the wrong person this time around. So over the weekend, Ms. Siyan Buji and Utando shocked literally everyone there by TikTok with their newly found friendship. Not only were people shocked, they were basically warning Utando against becoming friends with Osiyan Buji because we all know Osiyan Buji's messy ways before it's especially when it comes to friendships we've seen how she actually deals with Ama friendship breakups before it she normally goes online and is out your dirty laundry when things do not work out between uh, the two of you guys so a lot of people were warning Utanda and telling her you need to brace yourself should anything go south in this friendship then Osiyan Buji is going to tell us all your little dirty secrets and there were some people that were advising her to rather stop interacting with people that are much older than her especially usi and buji they were basically stating that you know at least just focus on school for the time being try finish your metric and then thereafter you can start uh clubbing you can do all those things but now that you're only 16 years old just focus on school you guys and this information even went on to tando's ex-best friend upapado while she was live people were asking her how she actually feels about this newly found relationship and this was her response you guys the way you see those two influences Ah ah, my the content, the content, the content. Even now, even now, what's in that? Love or not? Yes, it's it. Now, guys, Sian Buji also responded and decided to be Cinderella and wear the shoe. Guys, this was her response. Yes, you change a guy. You talk on your guy who are a Nike busy influencer and what can I go with? You know, I'm very, very old to be doing all these things with youngsters, my love. Marking up, oh, what's a whole you ain't shit. And I understand how you feel so intimidated because she has more followers, more views, more everything. What trend? Let me tell you though. for 50k and then But always remember you have technology, you have life science, you have so many things to do with your life instead of focusing on me because then nah hogan zaman go trapa. Don't bully ever in your life because unfortunately when you bully another woman's sorrow will come down to you and knock you down. Maybe once, I don't know, whenever. But just know that you're not allowed to even do this to other people, especially body how well so baby. And I've heard a lot about your body count. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was my PA. Mara why you know I got to PA game because I'm gonna feature that's a personal assistant, someone that actually helps you with life and then I'm but a specific percentage who I make sure what feed. Guess what? Isn't she the best? Because she was actually advising me her course and the email like her at least the banana have all changed it's about we let transport away in my zing about we let it sheila or okon on the maybe kicking out chin chan and I go boost that go boost some morale because that's exactly what you are right now. So anyways, I wish you all the best in life, my love, but don't ever in your life try me. Now, guys, honestly speaking, I feel like Sian Buji blew things out of proportion, especially because Opapalo is still um, quite young. She's still developing. She's basically literally a baby, you guys. I understand when she blows things out of proportion with Abos Telo Shorzy. The last time she did this with Us Telo Shorzy, everyone was like, oh, Sian Buji, you're actually blowing things out of proportion. But we later on found out that there was an underlying issue of which uh, Sian Buji as well as Us Telo Shorzy, they were sharing a man, you guys. So this time around with Papalo, I don't understand why she is blowing things out of proportion. I don't feel as though Papalo saying that um, her friendship as well as Tanda's friendship is based on content 
is equivalent to all the things she's saying on her response, stating that, you know what, I'm going to throw hands not only at you, but at your mother as well. Why is she even including parents in this? And also stating that, you know, that your father will not even afford to buy you a t-shirt, but uh, he will be funding my lifestyle for 50,000 rand, you guys. To me, it just does not make any sense, you guys. And for CN Buji to be fighting Tando's battles, that's just a bit low for me. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on this one please do just share that with me down on the comment section like this video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so and i will surely see you guys on my next one bye